All right, so we have Derek Jackson's wife who's taken to Instagram, has created statements, and I just think it's extremely worrying, and hopefully she can get out of this craziness that she has been warped into by this individual. Do not know what to do. You will drown and you will be a casualty in this war. I did not come here to play games and to play dress up. I came here in my battle suit. I came here on the battleground covered in the blood of Jesus. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click that button. And let's get straight into this quick fire video. So we have obviously, you know, Derek Jackson and what has taken place. The man has made several videos on reacting in third person within itself. I find it to be absolutely ludicrous. And um, we also have his wife who has taken to Instagram. I believe she took to Instagram a day and a half ago. I didn't want to make a video as soon as possible. I wanted to just wait, marinate and think about it before I make a video on this matter because I do feel like it's a very important topic to discuss. Now again, I'm seeing a lot of people, whether they be online profiles, whether it be tweets, again, everybody running with this word narcissism, running around, calling people, you know, um, they're literally highlighting a diagnostic criteria of people with a disorder. And I don't think people understand the dangerous precedent it sets that everybody thinks they have the, the ability to diagnose somebody with a disorder. You are not a psychiatrist, you are not a clinical psychologist, you don't work in that field, um, nor do you have experience in that field, and you're running around using words and you're diagnosing people with disorders. It's no different to me saying, oh my God, this person has expressed that they're hearing a voice. She's so schizophrenic. That's exactly what she is. That's what she is. She's schizophrenic, X, Y, Z. I'm running around using these terms. I find that to be ludicrous, number one. Number two, why don't you hear anybody else use any other disorder? Why is it only narcissism that we hear about 24 seven? Yes, people may have some tendencies that run through the diagnostic criteria, but there's also a lot of these tendencies that, that don't fit Derek Jackson. So I don't understand why everybody is running around using this term narcissism 24 seven. Yes, there are, you know, he does take accountability. He does understand that he's done something wrong. And a lot of narcissists will find that extremely difficult to do so. However, at the same time, he likes to deflect that wrongness onto other people in a very manipulative manner. So I do feel like there could be other disorders or other, you know, Know, tendencies of, of disorders that he may fit into here and there but I just feel like I'm not gonna run around with my chest and say somebody is a narcissist I'm diagnosing somebody with a disorder and I'm not a psychiatrist I'm not a you know psychologist I do have a degree in neuroscience when it comes to psychology and cognitive neuroscience yes I have a bit of understanding and I use that with pop culture as you guys know but I think it just sets a dangerous precedent guys everybody online is using mental health diagnosis terms so loosely that it is almost as a disrespect to people who do have you know mental health issues and somebody who works in the mental health world I had just had to open this video with that because if I'm seeing a lot of online people whether it be content creators or whether it be um, tweets or whether it be posts whatever they I don't know I'm just seeing online everywhere and it's like bro just do please just relax the guy is very weird but to diagnose somebody with a disorder let's just chill um, yes you know we may people say oh you've experienced a narcissist in your life I'm pretty sure everybody has I'm pretty sure everybody has so you obviously have this kind of relation to what you're seeing of you know symptoms and and etc 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 of a diagnostic criteria but bro you're not qualified it's no difference to you know, entering into a different, entering somebody entering into your job and running their mouth when you clearly know more, or you know, that's that's just the way I see it. I just feel like a psychiatrist and a psychologist will just have more of a higher viewpoint on this matter and just let's just simmer down on this. Everybody's a narcissist situation because it's just so we're just diagnosing people left, right, center. Like you wouldn't diagnose somebody with a physical injury, so why are we diagnosing people with a mental injury? It's almost like we don't respect mental health in such a weird opposite um, passive way where we're just diagnosing people. I find it to be very frustrating. But anyway, let's get into this video. Um, sorry, a bit of a random message, but related to this. She's obviously taken to Instagram. She is using and has been completely manipulated by religion. I received the anointing of the warrior and I spilled the blood of the enemy. You see a bonnet. I see the helmet of salvation. You see an army green shirt. I see the breastplate of righteousness. It's no stranger. Religion has been used by people to control other people for several times. And the way she's talking about that she is in a spiritual warfare, mentioning Jesus 24 seven, that she's in a battle, that she's going through something to try and exonerate Derek Jackson from his cheating ways, I think is to be completely fraudulent and scary. However, I do feel like someone like Derek Jackson perhaps knew this of her before he met her. The belt of truth, the sandals of peace, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and the shield of faith. 
because he knew that he could use his manipulative ways to control her in such a way, so much so that he got her on the YouTube channel holding her hand as she looked a mess and now is defending everything again, doing even more work. And at this point in time, I don't think she sees how deep-seated the, you know, control is. I would imagine this person has gone through some kind of trauma at a young age, um, whether it be, you know, several different types of abuse, because when you go through stuff um, in a childhood age, it sets a precedent for how you are in adulthood relationships, especially relationships. And I do feel like that is something that, you know, she must have been mini um, gone through trauma, either um, a parental control, friendly or, you know, school control, something around the area that must have been traumatic where she was subdued a lot and found that to be somewhat of an attractive trait and found that in a man like Joe Jackson and obviously that is exactly what the relationship is about she clearly is controlling he clearly sorry is controlling her to a T even when they were making videos oh you know do you want to speak up or something oh the live chat was her idea of course it may have been her idea but clearly you goaded her into doing so because that's why she sat there with you because of your actions of course and I feel like he then did a whole third person you know explanation video because he's probably enjoying this kind of thrill and what I mean by that is I'm sure he doesn't like the, the hate that he's getting but it's giving him a lot of attention as well and I've come to the battleground covered in the blood of Jesus to proclaim victory over sin and as God does for me he is going to do for those of you who so much so that he decided to make another video on it. A lot of people don't do that. They try to shy away from stuff. And the fact that she's out here defending him with so much anger, frustration for people and using religion left, right and center, constantly mentioning God, mentioning Jesus, mentioning so much about religion. She's so warped into a reality that she doesn't even know. It's an alternate reality. It's an augmented reality because of the fact that Joe Jackson has controlled her to such a level. They're coming for you, Joe. They're coming for you, Joe. Understand? They are coming for you because the type of control, guys, is very sad to watch. But I just feel like men or women, um, they see somebody in terms of how easy they are to control, and that person is easy to control based on their childhood experiences and the trauma. And it just it really carries through into a relationship, especially if we don't seek therapy. It really, really does. What I think this um, um, lady should do is listen, she's now got her own platform. Unwillingly, she now has her own platform. Make money from it, monetize your platform, make some kind of income, because when you have that coming quite steadily and quite strongly, you wouldn't even need this individual and this man, and you can go off buying somebody else. Because of right now, you're the one so warped into reality that you thought it would be okay to be sitting down, looking like, an, looking like a mess, with your guy and admit to the fact that he cheated on you multiple times, and you're there with your face front, just taking it all. Like the, um, there's layers and levels of embarrassment to this, but there's even more layers of understanding the fact that she doesn't even know how embarrassing this is because she's so warped into pleasing him, being under him, being manipulated by him, being controlled by him. And I find it to be extremely scary. We see this common stuff in relationships here and there. Um, we definitely do, but I just feel like she doesn't understand it. And it's linked to a childhood trauma and it's just very worrying and troublesome. And I just don't know where she's gonna go from here guys and hopefully she can release herself from this relationship but it takes a lot of strength and it's several times before you're able to see some kind of light from this very dark tunnel let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this like eight minute analysis i want to make a longer video to discuss this let me know what your thoughts are subscribe to the channel click that button and i'll catch you guys soon for another video